Eric Maitland here. We're getting into the weekend and it looks good. It's a long holiday weekend for some of us with all four days, but here's how we kick it off. A couple of fronts moving through the area between them, some uh, instability. So we're going to get some showers and a few thunder showers before we finish off our Friday evening. But into the night, things will uh, tame down. And the most important thing, that second cold front is the leading edge of some much drier air. So Saturday looks great. Low humidity, plenty of sunshine highs near 80 as we get into our Friday night and Saturday morning, early Saturday morning. That model indicates a lot of widespread rain. I don't think it will be that widespread. Maybe some isolated showers can't rule out some uh, thunder here and there. And as we get into our Saturday, plenty of sunshine, a nice day with highs once again to the low 80s and less humidity. But Sunday comes along and we increase that humidity. That means as we finish off the day, some showers and a few thunder showers scattered about the area. Then as we start our Monday, uh, we do so mainly dry, but some showers and thunderstorms will catch up with us later in the day and into uh, early Tuesday as well. So for your Saturday, mostly sun and warm, less humid though. That's the key to enjoying that 81 degrees with northwest winds around 5 to 10. High temperatures north of Interstate 80, mid to uh, upper 70s to near 80, low 80s widespread south of Interstate 80 in the Metro Quad Cities, about 80 or 81. Plenty of sunshine, comfortable sunshine with the lower humidities. Back to the mid 80s on Sunday, a little more humidity. That chances of showers and thunderstorms also into Monday, Tuesday. Rain chances continue Wednesday. We'll dry things out Thursday and Friday, but look at those high temperatures. We'll be pushing 90 degrees.